Welcome to this Google SketchUp video. In this video we're going to show you how to make your classroom have walls. So here I am with my finished classroom. We're going to use the pencil tool and at the beginning of this whole process you had to draw this outer perimeter and it was a shape at that point and we deleted the inner area. If you take the pencil tool and you start at one endpoint and you click once and you go to another endpoint you click again just like you're tracing over that line that's there. When you click that second time it will refill in the area of that shape. Now I'm going to click on my push-pull tool. When I click on the push-pull tool that will allow me to click on the floor, if you will, and raise this up. Now as I'm raising this, if you take a look in the bottom right corner of the screen, it's telling me the height. So you want to get it close to what the actual height of the, of the classroom was when you measured it. So let's say it was around 10 feet. And let's say I get close to that, but I'm just a little bit off. When I release my mouse click, that's where it'll stay. But again, you can come down here in your distance box, just like we did with other shapes. And if I take that out and I want this to be exactly 10 feet, I hit return and it will adjust. And it adjusted ever so slightly there. I use my arrow. I click on the roof of this shape and I hit delete. That takes that out. Now notice you had some other things happen here. Uh, it thought that this shape of the desk was, was part of what I was trying to raise up. If you use your arrow tool and you click on these pieces of this piece by piece, you're deleting the fill area, you're deleting the line. That'll just help you to, to touch things like that up. You might have something like that happen. So you can clean that up. Another thing you can do is if you measured the windows, you could actually put the windows on here. Now before you do this, I would recommend you rotate to such a way that you're not going to, because in, in a minute we're going to draw the shape here, and when you draw the shape, you want to be able to move it. Let me show what I mean. Let's say you measured the window. The window was, was rectangular in shape. I'm just going to draw a rectangle to start. Okay, but let's say that that was really supposed to be... I don't know, let's say it was 10 feet wide. So I'm taking that out, so I'm leaving 10 feet, comma. Uh, let's say it was supposed to be 6 feet tall. Oops. And if I hit return, that'll adjust my shape. Let's pretend that that's the window. Now maybe this window's not in the right spot. If you want to, you can click and drag using the arrow tool around this shape. And we're going to move this in a minute, but watch what happened. When I did this, I also accidentally selected other things that were here in the background, like these desks. So before you do this, I would say try to move in such a way that if you, if you accidentally select something, you're not selecting other things. Or if you do select things, if you use your arrow tool and you hold down shift and you click on the desks, this is taking them out of the selection. So here I am clicking on these. I see that that's also blue, that's also blue, the little flags there. So I'm going to take all those out. Let me rotate back around now. So now when I grab my move tool, which is this little four arrow tool, I can move this. Let's say the window was actually right about there. Okay. Now I can use my arrow tool. I can click here and delete. So now it looks like it's a window in, in the sidewall. You could also do this for a door. If there's a door as part of your classroom, you could move to an area where the door might be and draw the door, move it around. Again, being careful to not select other objects and delete that out. So you can actually create a 3D look to your room. That's it. Thanks so much for watching.